What is up, everybody? How we doing? Welcome on in, welcome on in. Hope we're all having a fantastic start to our holiday week there. Hope everyone has some fun, safe plans set for the week. Hopefully you can see family, Zoom with family. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do Zooming. We're gonna or street or whatever it is, Skype, Zoom, whatever the whatever the thing is. We're gonna do that with all of our family uh, this week. So yeah, we're gonna, we have it set up for I think Christmas Day. No, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve night we have one with one side of the family where we're gonna have people from Arizona and Milwaukee and us here in Illinois and everything all Skype. And then I think the next day I'm gonna Skype with like my uh, sister and brother and them. So yeah, we're gonna have a whole bunch of just digital digital uh, get-togethers this year, basically. <laughs> so that should be good. But how are we doing, Moonlight? How are you doing, Roove Leaf? Heather G barely made it in on time. She made it with seconds to spare. Dan Creates is in the building. Dan Creates just made it awesome. Uh, I was in the middle of watching uh, your indoor penguin habitat for your aqua house. That, uh, that's turned out really, really good. I like your caiman habitat was really good with that. And uh, yeah, I, I was in the middle of watching the penguin one um when i was getting set up for stream today so that was awesome so, so what's up simply kaylee how we doing Let's see did i miss anyone level wolf is in the building and i think i got everyone there and samantha hopper wins today by the way everyone i don't know if samantha's even here anymore but samantha hopper samantha rather hopper wins uh the the battle of being here first so oh i have a surprise by the way i have a surprise i forgot by the way this is me face this is my face What's up? It's my face. I, got, I told you I'd do it. See, and I did it. And this is my face, and this is what I look like, because literally three of you were like, hey. They were like, hey, can I see, where's your face at? And I was like, hey, buddy, I have a face. Don't worry. So, yeah, and I because I have glasses now, and it wouldn't, it would have been weird before if I was streaming without, because it was, before it was, I was doing like this. What does it look like? Hold on. What, I was like this. So when I said I was forehead playing, I would have been a forehead player. But now we can actually... Do it normal. We can do it normal there. So, I did. I got. I got the glasses. So now, because I know faces are important when you stream, you can you can see my face when we stream. Like Mel puts it. Mel says um, that it's like you're hanging out more when we're when I have a face. Like we're actually like we're we're hanging. We're chilling. We're just some buddies playing playing it. Insert game here. <laughs> What's up, Brian? What's up, Sylvan? How you doing there? It's Seth Rogen. That's right. I am Seth Rogen completely. I am Seth Rogen completely. Um, Paulsley says I sound like I sound like him, and then when I actually start growing out my facial hair, I kind of look like him a little bit too. I seem to get like more of a. He has like a like not a fro, but like a thing. I need to get my hair like more poofier up top kind of thing. So what's up, Megan B? How you doing, Megan B? Good to see you, Megan B. All right. So yesterday when we left off, now that the shock of my face is gone, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and just uh, pick up with the enclosure here. Um, so I've let this run for a little bit. And if I remember right, our little dude arenos here can actually get out, but they like don't care. They like could give a rip that they can get out. They just want to swim down here. And by the way, it's like now that I say that one of them's gonna go ahead and run out. It's so awesome. Look at look at them down here. Look at this view down here. Look at this view down here. We're not even done. Like we're gonna get started with the under. I think we should do that first. We'll do the underwater part first. There. I still have weird. I still have weird. Mickey B is here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, things with my frames because I just got them like less than five days ago. So I still have to like kind of adjust them all the time. Yeah, I don't know. For those of you that have like glasses you know those first few days when first like the first two to three days are bubble vision still as your eyes like kind of get into the new prescriptions and then the frames when the frames are new you're trying to like get them all nah, nah, nah. but um so anyways yeah the uh yeah isn't though isn't it great heather i love the underwater view i love watching them swim under here and again it's are they in oh no <laughs> oh no they can come inside the bar so here's the thing apparently they can swim inside of our uh, viewing dome. And that's the thing with this. I don't know if I did it right. I feel like I may have bonked it. Oh wait, what happened here? I feel like I may have goofed this up a little bit. Um, they're not clipping through, yeah. So I don't know if this happens with everybody's thing, but I feel like I may have borked this a little bit because I don't know that it's supposed to be like underwater. Underwater, you know what I mean? 
I don't know, maybe it is. <laughs> I didn't look at anyone else's video all the way. Uh, well, let's just kind of do the underwater bit here. We'll open it up to guests today too. Don't let me forget, I want to open it up to guests uh, before we go to see how everything kind of works. I think if you put rocks around the edge, they may not clip through. Yeah, or maybe we'll do the um, old LASIK eye surgery. I looked into that for a second. I would feel naked without my glasses though, I think is what it comes down to. I think I've just like had glasses so long that I wouldn't know what to do without them. Um, that's too small. I need something like right in between this size and this size. What's this like? It's kind of the right size. Um, but anyways, yeah, lo don't let me forget. I want to open this up to guests today. So let's make sure to do that and see how guest flow is. So Daniel. Oh, oh hey, what is Daniel Austin? Y'all know Daniel Austin? It's Daniel Austin. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. I see you've been playing a lot of Planet Zoo again lately, which is awesome. How you enjoying the new pack there? This mix that we're listening to right now, the um, is is from Estan. He this is the music that Estan has had on his channel the past few days, and it actually has like a lot of like good clips. Christmas, Christmas, uh, like classics in it. Kind of just remixed a little bit, so it's not copyright strike, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. All the ones that we've been listening to are like just we're gonna make an original Christmas song. Like, no, you're not. There's only original Christmas songs from like the '40s and '50s. You can't just make an original Christmas song in the 2020s. There's, I saw this. I think it's Cheddar. I think it's the YouTube channel name. Um, they made a whole video about that, how like all Christmas songs that we celebrate today are from the 40s and 50s and like why that is basically. Basically because World War II and everyone was like ready for, tra after like a big world tragedy, people are ready for like traditionalism kind of thing. So that made them think like, hmm, after the big world, or you know, the big pandemic, like I wonder if we're gonna get some like new Christmas songs because everyone's gonna wanna go back to traditionalism a whole bunch after everything is uh, said and done. What's up, Haku? I know, it's my face! It's me, this is my face. It's Krimbo, or Krimis. Have me Krimis. You got, uh, had a little more time thing. Oh, that's good, yeah, yeah, you're usually... You're a world traveler there. That's right, you're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the new pack there. Everything, we're just gonna kind of fill in all these little gaps here, and then we're gonna start to put in some plants. Some plants. Your game, your game glitched today, how dare it? I don't have the aquatic pack, but I can place all the rocks and scenery and construction pieces. I mean, that's not the worst glitch ever to have. I, would, I won't tell if you won't tell, but this is, a, this just mind you, this is a stream that normally gets like anywhere between four to 600 views, sometimes a thousand. So one, one of them could be someone that doesn't need to know that. Shh. <laughs> All right, I think we're good on the rock front. I think, I think, I think. Have any of these guys escaped? I don't hear any bells going off. Let me just double check real quick. Again, they like seem like they have no intention of escaping. No, they haven't. They can escape fully, but they're just like, you know, I'm kind of digging this whole big water area that you have for us, and this whole enclosure is just kind of cool there. Spidey Bells is good enough to be considered. I mean, that's true. That's true. That's that's a fair point. <laughs> la, da, la, la. Frontier's probably spying. Shh, don't tell. I won't tell. Oh, what other Planet Zoo video that I watched this morning that was high? Oh, uh, let's game it out. Do y'all want? Do y'all follow? Let's game it out. I only, I only watch a few of his videos. Usually the Planet Zoo ones that he does, but he's hilarious. His stuff is really funny. He made, um, he's made like the the zoo prison, the zoo on the moon. Um, it's just it's not serious, obviously, but it's just really funny stuff. And yeah, today his one was uh, making a penguin enclosure. A penguin aquarium that would... Oh, oh, they finally did it. They finally escaped. All right, <laughs> now I'll pause it. Watch, it's not even a penguin. Or a penguin, an otter. It is an otter. They finally figured it out. They're like, oh, wait, I can get out? Oh, you're like barely out, though. You're not even like hardly all the way out. Um, but anyways, yeah. You hate the paths in this game? It takes a little bit to get the pathing right in this game. Um... An underwater tunnel mechanic. I know, you kind of have to hack it, right? It's kind of a, it would have been really cool if we could have had that. Didn't we have that in um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 underwater? Uh, so, hey, little otter dude. 
probably not the best idea. <laughs> That's where we're just going to kind of pause the game. I think I know. Yeah, I have all that stuff turned off, but still, we don't need to see. Uh, don't need to have that happen. They had underwater. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They had underwater paths. I mean, what they kind of looked like this, didn't it? It kind of just looked like this, like what we had here, minus my little janky cover right there. But we're just going to disregard that. I almost took out this entire little bubble dome here just because of this little jankiness that I built up right here. But I'm just going to kind of build around it. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> we'll see if anything comes of it. Oh, shoot, you know what I was going to look up? I was going to see if anyone had made... I'm going to look it up real quick. Um, on the workshop, if someone has made, like, seaweed or... I don't even know what to call it. I guess, yeah, let's try seaweed first. Mm. Oh, actually. Oh, you kind of do it that way. Not like that, but... um. I don't know what it's called. Oh, kelp. Kelp, maybe. Okay, so they use that. We can just do it that way. I thought that someone made, like, a kelp thing with... some stuff there. Anyways, uh, MS Queen! Hello! It's the same engine as RT RCT3. Um, I feel like it'll eventually we'll get fully aquatic packed with underwater path mechanics, but that's a long shot. Yeah, yeah I mean, maybe. I don't know if it's going to get that far into like a life cycle to get stuff like that into it. I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say that because with um, Planet Toaster, Planet Coaster, I was just thinking about this yesterday. Um, with the path mechanics, they introduced tunneling with that. I, for I totally forgot that we didn't have um, tunneling in Planet Coaster until like, not, I don't want to say halfway through, but um, <clears throat> excuse me, what is this plant? I don't know what plant that is. But um, so, you know, I don't know. They're always kind of redoing stuff, redeveloping. And so maybe we'll get like underwater things like where it like auto puts like a tunnel over top of it or something like that as it uh, tunnels through. Or again, give us the option for not having that, but you know, you know. Do, 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 do. Like the music? Nice, nice. I look like you? Hi, we're twins! We were separated at birth. We're actually... We're actually brothers. Oh, hey, I think this is what they used. Oh, it was! Yeah, okay. So it's... Oh, the Spanish Hanging Moss. Low-key Spanish Hanging Moss. Just like best plant in the game. Yeah, that, look, that looks pretty good. I like that. So there you go. You think this also looks good? Uh, the Spanish Hanging Moss flipped upside down inside of... Uh, lakes and stuff like that. Kind of looks like a thing <laughs> a plant hey lovro i said it's a me hi it's a, yeah hey it's blink it's a drew cam yep it's in my face just like um uh what's his name ozzy man reviews it's me vice it always makes me laugh whenever he says it here's the channel and this is me face Aussie man reviews. I say Aussie. You yeah, know it is oh, Aussie, 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 Aussie. <laughs> yeah, the Spanish hanging moss is great for all instances, basically. Well, cool, that's coming along nice. Now let's put down some deadness. We need some dead, 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 dead deadness. Water banana plant. Hey, look at you. Do you go into the water? I mean, it says water, so why not? No, it doesn't go. Look at you. Look at all these little guys. I'm gonna put a bunch of you down first. Before putting in the dead trees. Do 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 But yeah, I uh for the face cam stuff, like I, I used to do face cam all the time when I was on Twitch. Like that was it was no big deal or whatever, and I just kinda forgot to do it when I switched over to YouTube. Um, and yeah, y'all been yelling at me long enough where I was like, okay, yeah, I guess it's time to kind of do that. Now we all need to yell at, um, SDAM. Everyone yell at SDAM now to do the, uh, to do face cam, right? I mean, he's already has his profile picture with his face. Now he just needs to have his face all the time. See your face! Trying to wrap gifts with a kitten is like trying to use a pathing system. Lots of, yeah, I would say lots of yelling, right. 
Whoa, who's, I don't know. It's an imposter. It's an imposter. Don't pay attention to the man behind the behind the curtain. He has no good intentions for you. <laughs> How's it going, Savannah? How's it going? You pop it in before work or no work this week? I know some of you are going to probably be off this uh, off work this week. Off work this week. Which is fun. Doo -doo -doo. What's up, Messy Meskers? Uh, I'm not sus. You're the sus. Oh, that game is on, um, whatever now. The game is on, um, Xbox Game Pass. There's the words. So I might be like playing that now because I have, I have Game Pass and I saw, I saw that Among Us was on there. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll try that game. You the only one who uses real names as a YouTube channel? Yeah. Not too common. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say it's not too common. I do see some people, or quite a few, that have that. Or at least their first name. Alright, uh, that looks good. Let's go back up top, too. This is a great view. To the dead trees. Dead, dead, dead. But yeah, hey, let's put in some of these roots, because it's kind of a South American section here. That'll be cool. Sneaky, sneaky. It's on Switch now, too. Oh, wow. No work today. Felt a bit under the weather, so they asked me to just... Yeah, no. Get away. Go put yourself in a box. You gotta get the vid test. They have, um... It's... I don't know if it's like this in Cali... Yeah, you're from California. The Californians. Um, but here in Illinois, we now have one's test where you can basically take it yourself. Um, my wife has done it twice now, just to be safe, and, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They just, like, give it, they hand her, like, the little baggie full of things, and she just takes it in her car and then puts it back in and gives it right back to them. So they don't have to, like, they don't have to, like, stick it up your nose like they used to when we first started this whole thing. A little bit easier. Did you wish you had played at zoo? Hey, one day, one day. Mel, Mel, oh my god! But I, have, I know, a face and glasses. Face and glasses. You read about the self? Yeah, the self testing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, and hopefully that will speed up um, testing and everything, and get a, kind of a better read on everything going on. Just bring these out a little bit. All right, so let's get some, I need some big bushy plants. I keep missing the dead plants, don't I? I keep saying I want to put in dead stuff and then I, I never do it. Big, big, wow, well, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas for Mel! She gave her the monies for the Christmas! Aw, oh, thank you so much, Mel. I appreciate that so much. And you're a great community member. I gotta, is it, it's gonna go off. Wait, it's gonna go off. But it's gonna still be, it's still gonna be the one that I don't want it to be because I keep forgetting to change it. I need to make a note today <laughs> to change it. Wait for it. Wait. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can't really see it. Bam, now you can see it better. $25 through Super Chat. Let's get some claps. Let's get some GGs. Let's get, oh, you already are all doing it. You're a great community. Look at y'all. Look at y'all doing the good things. Clap, yep, that's right. Woo! So thank you so much, Mel. Appreciate the heck out of you. Oh, and just in case y'all didn't know, uh, Mel has been a long time community member, a long time supporter of the channel. This webcam, I'm gonna touch you right here. Is is from her as well from back in the day. She uh, she donated enough money to get the webcam going too. So that's from her too. She's an awesome community member. So <laughs> um, yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, dead trees. There. Do, 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 do. Ruve is being my personal accountant for the last few days. Thank you, Ruve. Appreciate that. Just in case we lose track. <laughs> What else are you working on getting? As far as what? As far as the stream goes, a um, a pad would be cool. Uh, I can't remember what they're fully called. I think a DeNovo or a Lenovo uh, stream pad. It has like a I like I'm looking at my hand. That's what it looks like. It's um, it basically has little buttons where I can switch the stream and stuff over and make like sounds and I can like program a bunch of buttons to do different things for the stream. So that'll be the next thing I want to do for the stream to make it just a little bit more production wise. A little bit easier and we can do some more fun things i can do all that stuff through my keyboard right now 
um, by hitting like F2 and just all these different um, hotkeys, but the the little stream board would make it um, stream deck. Thank you, thank you. Yes, the stream deck. Yep, a stream deck I think would be pretty cool. Actually, why would it be under there? They wouldn't be really get much light. Is playing it too hard? Um, it depends. Like, I don't think the actual campaign or anything is too hard. But I guess learning the controls can be a little bit difficult. And really getting, like, sinking your teeth into it, I think, can be a bit difficult. But um, if you put the time into it, it's definitely a rewarding game. Hand reveal. <laughs> with your penguins and there doesn't seem to be end in sight. What are you struggling with? Water? Is it just water? Because everyone just is hating water. I've actually, like... I have a pretty good control over it now, I feel like. I feel pretty good about my handling of water. Not saying it's great, but I do feel like I've gotten like a little bit of a hand. There's something very similar that you can use with your phone called Touch Portal. That um, That's what you use for your streams. Oh, really? Let me look into it real quick. Since it'll take like two. Hey, thanks for retweet, Heather. Appreciate you. So I'll take two seconds to have that up on my phone so I can look at it later. Should I just always stream like this so you guys can just see my double chin all the time? <sighs> cool. I will look into that. Oh, and it's very free. And out of 124 reviews, it has four and a half stars. Do tell. Yeah, the water. Just remember. Just remember. Like, I don't know what it is, but make the whole thing like glass first as far as your water goes. Then put in the water level that you want, and then start removing the glass and replacing it for a node where you want to do that. Because I think that the glass is like the easiest way to like get the water to do what you want it to do, kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's my face, Nick. This be my face. Yeah, we're yeah. I'm getting to that primal exactly. The the temple bits. I was just thinking that as well. So we're gonna go through the temple a little bit. Oh heck, you know what? Oh, I've used this so many times. It's so great. We're gonna get rid of this mamma jamma actually. This piece right here, I did a um, a tiger habitat build where I got a shot with this thing that looked like Tomb Raider. Like it straight up looked like a, we might go back into that little project today because that's such a cool little thing. I kind of tilted like that, it had the rain going and there was a jungle behind it. It was just like, so I bet they can go through this. I want you to bet they can swim through this. It's gonna be badass. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm so excited. Have a good one, Roof. Have a good one. Do you need a good computer or a laptop? I would, yeah, good PC, desktop. Get a good desktop. I mean, now laptops can run it, but um, it's it's a high end system, a high end game for the most part. So I would look into a good desktop for it. Play all day in uh, sandbox. Yeah, well. MS Queen, the thing is, it's not hard for a lot of us who've been playing it for a long time, but the controls in general, getting the camera to work, it's not the pathing system. It's not a game that just anyone can just kind of pick up and just go with. It, I'm not saying it's impossible, and obviously a lot of you can, and I mean, I kind of like that. I'm kind of like that as well, because I have a bit of a background in these kind of games. But if you're someone that's totally new to these kind of games, it is a bit of a struggle to get into. It very much so is. Again, that's why most of like us content creators, a lot of our top videos are tutorial videos because again, this is not like, it is and it isn't because I do know what you mean. It's not terribly hard to pick up once you kind of go through the tutorials and stuff. But um, yeah, I think just as far as like a casual gamer goes and a casual kind of game, um, it's definitely a bit on the harder side, I would say. But once you get it and kind of get the controls down and stuff, I think it's, um, I mean, obviously I love playing it, but um, I think that's um, really a, a thing. Just, you gotta kind of get it and put a little bit of time into it. A lot of people aren't into putting a lot of time into it either, in general. You were super surprised my laptop could run it. Um, you're back to PC, PC forever. 20 minutes and almost returned it because of the path system. Yeah, and I hear that all the time. I hear that all the time. All, all, all the time. <laughs> That's the biggest complaint and the biggest thing. Pathing, 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 pathing. Janet, Janet, Janet! <laughs> I 
transfer no expense not in this one not in this one we're just kind of going for it in this build which is really fun that's what the next zoo is going to be like too but normally like Thornton Hills Zoo it's uh expenses spared I think that's really all we're gonna do is just some temple ruins. I don't want to do big full-on temple, I don't think. Just like some ruins. You ruined me. Kind of near the glass and stuff. Yeah, that, that'll probably be good. We don't want to swish it in too much here. Getting the controls down, yeah. Cool, thanks. Um, it's blink. It's blue ink. cool all right i think that'll be good um let's put in some of the bubbles my bubbles because bubbles are great my bubbles oh well, it's on pause real quick oh that one has escaped hasn't it uh maybe he won't jump off oh he did <laughs> maybe he won't do this thing no he, yeah he's gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> What are you, where are you going? Don't do it. Good, good girl. Thank you. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Remnant, what's up, buddy? I appreciate that. Appreciate the heck out of you saying that. I'm having a fun time, kind of. Yeah, again, this build is a let loose build for me, kind of. This whole, like, zoo project here, it's kind of a... Not that I always build in the most realistic sense, but um, it's kind of a don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just build. Just do whatever you feel like building. Let's just have a nice, happy build. <laughs> What's up, frog? What's my favorite Christmas song? Um, the one where it's like, run, run, Rudolph. And I love it so much that I don't even know the any of the other lyrics except for Run Run Rudolph. But it's just got such a like... You know what I mean? <laughs> or any Christmas song, any movie that had John Candy in it, was directed by John Hughes, and all the music in those movies are my favorite Christmas song. I know that's like a wide variety, but that's that's my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> John Hughes movies with John Candy in them that are based around Christmas. So like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Home Alone. Are those the only two? <laughs> I feel like there should be more. Uncle Buck was kind of centered around the holidays, wasn't it? So Uncle Buck. Um, Home Alone airport song. Isn't that just uh, whatever the Nutcracker? Isn't that just Rise of the Nutcracker or whatever it is? Um, okay, I think this is pretty good here. All of our otters are congregating in one area. Let's put in some... Oh yeah, we need to fix this up. <laughs> I know, Uncle Buck's great. I love Uncle Buck. We need more aquatic animals. I know! Wouldn't it... Oh, there's just... I love the gray seals, but someone brought it up the other day. They're like, don't you wish we had sea lions in the game? And I was like, you know, like... I'd like that we have gray seals, so that's fine though, but I just, I would love to get some arf arfs into the game. I would love to listen to just some arf arfs going off all the time. And we were talking earlier, Remnant, um, and others that just got in. Remember how RCT3 had the underwater tunnel or the underwater like viewing area that you could build with the pathing system? And that, that was built on the Cobra system too. So we're hoping that maybe they'll give us like now with the new aquatic animals, maybe we'll get like an underwater like, um, pathing system because i mean i know it's not the same version of cobra and it's obviously different after what almost 15 years or whatever but cobra be cobra in bro cobra be cobra in cobra be cobra in bro cobra kai because yeah even us like even doing this like yeah this is so cool though like whoever fig figured out how to do the underwater tunnel stuff is it's really cool but i would love to do it legitimately Jet. Let's pause it again just so our otters don't keep escaping. Again, I like that only one has escaped in like this entire time if I had unpaused. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, when they've all had the um, same equal opportunity to escape. But they're just like, nah, dude. I love the uh, I love the habitat. We're going to stay in. I'm going to chill inside the habitat here. 
Is this playlist still going on? It is. Okay, it has another 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Need some Christmas spirit here? Hopefully it's uh, the music's helping with the Christmas spirit. With the Christmas spirit. We got we have Christmas music lined up all day. All day and all day. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Hopefully we're going to finish this up. I really would like to finish it up. At least finish it up to the point of where I can just come in later with details. Details. Um, and just kind of work on little stuff here and there that I uh, kind of forgot. But as far as the stream goes, I'd like to get like the infrastructure. You know, the whole thing kind of. The kit and caboodle in place. What's up, Lucas? How you doing there? You didn't realize Macaulay Culkin was an Uncle Buck? You know, he was in a lot of things that I kind of forget, like in the 90s. Um, there was this, there's this uh, channel I sh uh, follow called the Joe Schmo Show. I think that was it. Anyways, um, and they did a thing of, uh, they have this... YouTube series of WTF happened to insert actor name here and a few days ago they did Macaulay Culkin and yeah like I totally forgot that he was in like Uncle Buck and I'm like totally um obviously like Richie Rich but there was a few other movies that like I had I totally forgot that like he was in it I think it's because like he looks he like what's the word not blends in but he's just one of those actors where when you see him you just kind of are like well, I think it's because he's associated so much with like two movies in his entire career, like Home Alone 1 and 2. So when you see him in anything else, your brain is just like, no, no, that's not him. That's some other dude that looks like Macaulay Culkin. But it's not him because he's not, it's not Home Alone. So I don't think it's him. So your brain just like has a malfunction and just block, blocks him out. <laughs> and I forgot that his brother kind of was a not big but like it was in some uh hollywood movies as well when i saw people doing tunnels they looked so real i thought they low-key added a path option right it does look really good well in that um the classic structure bit which i totally forgot that we had by the way this um this has been a game since like beta with this, uh, yeah, classic Arbor Arch, which is in, like, if you type in glass, you can find it real quick. But, yeah, this little thing, and this is all, like, little quarter panels of it. Yeah, this all just looks so much like a uh, full-on... Oh, we got a leak. We have a leak. No one look at it. Um, yeah, it just looks so much like a uh, full-on pathing system that would, or path tool that would go over top of it. So, <gasps> oh, I ran out of breath. Other sounds are the best. He has a podcast called Bunny Ears. Does he? That's cool. Um, he's also been on Red Letter Media a lot lately, which I love Red Letter Media. They're like, <laughs> they're the greatest movie reviewers. They're not for everybody, but <laughs> they're, I, I, their content. I was actually watching them this morning too, because they had a best of the worst Christmas edition come out this morning. But yeah, he was, uh, anyways, Red Letter Media is like, a movie review site or a channel but they're, they're they're yeah again they're not for everybody they're a bit out there a bit out there and he was helping them for a little bit here he's on a few episodes with them doo, doo. there's a home loan three four and five no there's not i know they made those movies but they're not real they're fake they're fake movies <laughs> they, i mean they have to be for the quality that that they were no no. Actually, I didn't know there was a fifth one. What is that about? No, I do know what it's about. Because Macaulay Culkin was um, riffing on it on Red Letter Media, I'm pretty sure it was. It's about, like, a rich kid, right? Like, these people try and break into, like, a, um, a rich home. Like, a really sci-fi, like, futuristic, techy, gadgety kind of home. And a bunch of chaos ensues. <laughs> I bet kids will love it. <laughs> I'm sure kids love it. You want a free update where they fix the underwater tunnel? When you walk inside the tunnel, you don't get the water effect. That would be cool. Again, you got to remember, like, with the, the way it looks, we are kind of breaking the game by doing that. That's essentially what it is. It's kind of just a glitch. So it would be cool, though, yeah, if they added it in, like, officially as a... Um, Absolutely, as like a, a feature or whatever. Oh, that'd be so cool. And yeah, it does kind of feel like they, um, if they were gonna add it, it would have been for the semi-aquatic pack there. 
because that's kind of like everyone's gonna be making underwater viewing areas right but yeah no hopefully for the uh, future there hey and you know what they're never gonna know that we want that unless you tell them on the forums i am like gung-ho about the forums now i was so like whatever about the planet zoo forums before but after like um this recent pack where they've put in like so many community requests that were mainly on the forums. I'm like, yes, go tell them on the forums that we want this and they'll listen on the forums. You have three, but didn't know they actually made four and five. Yeah, like three wasn't great, but I can't even imagine what they were trying to do with four and five. I don't want to. I don't, I don't even want to. <sighs> yeah, don't even try, right. You can't figure out underwater viewing areas to save your life. Yeah, and that was kind of my fear with um, a lot of people that don't play the game like too, too often is that uh, making an underwater viewing area is going to be so complicated for um, people that they're just going to be like, and I'm done. Maybe the big otter sign on the wall with like an arrow on the rocks. Yeah, we might do something like that. We're gonna um, box this in a little bit here. Make it a little bit structural. A little bit structural. And we're blocking this at the same time, so... Bada bing, bada boom! When in doubt, or concrete. We can move this over by, like, one. Actually, meh, yeah, the whole thing can be moved over just by one, and we'll move the rhubarb plants at the same time. The rhubarbs! Best plant in the game. I mean that too, like I've realized how much I've used the rhubarb plants since they've come out. Like they're literally the best plant in the game for any kind of circumstance you need them to be. You're dedicated to getting planet, better at Planet Zoo. Well, I would normally at this point redirect you to go watch Palsley, but unfortunately you cannot do that because I guess YouTube's a butthead. So I don't even know where to like redirect people for tutorials. Now, maybe we'll just start making like once a once a week we'll do like tutorials on stuff. Like live tutorials. Y'all can we could do like an hour out of a stream once a week. Y'all can just like ask questions and like we or maybe we could like do a live build or something. Is that something y'all be interested in? I don't know, like maybe we can like find a piece of concept art for like a habitat or like a building or something. And like once a week for like an hour or maybe an entire stream, who knows? We can just do like a live build session, and like I'll like build it together. It'll be like a Bob Ross. Just be like a bunch of happy little accidents. Bob Ross, yeah, exactly. Bob Ross tutorial streams, yeah. Do, do you've seen some Palsley stuff? Why is YouTube being a butt? They stopped like letting them upload videos. Like they would always, um, whenever you uploaded a video, it would get like struck with some. I don't know. I it was a weird thing um, that I'd never heard of before. But yeah, so he just basically was like, you know what? F it, <laughs> and he he blew up his YouTube channel. So, I play PZ a bit, but I want to play Planet Zoo so bad, but I can't because of my online school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to school. School's important. School's the important. What's up, Warble? Sorry if I missed you earlier. I did not see you there. Get this plant out of the way. So we're going to cover up all this, basically. You think of doing some uh, tutorial videos? I mean, it's a it's a wide open space right now. I've mentioned it a few times with Palsley, uh, uh, Palsley's videos not out anymore. Like it's a wide open market for anyone that's good at making tutorial videos. Again, I can't, I think I mentioned it yesterday, but I can't do like live or uh, scripted tutorial videos like Jaunty and them can. Like, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't really do it that well. I have one tutorial video out and it missed, I missed like so many things out for the pathing tutorial. I missed so many things for it after like looking back. I was like, God, I didn't even mention like the Z thing or like this or that. <laughs> it's like, what a basic ass tutorial. I was basic.
YouTube marked his videos as spam and uh, that he broke TOS. Yeah, exactly what Heather said. Yeah, and he wasn't uh, monetizing his stuff either. So it's not like he was using it for like income. So um, yeah, he just got sick of it because he was just doing it as like a hobby kind of thing. He still has his Discord. So you can like still go on his Discord as like a community kind of thing. But as far as like Planet Zoo stuff goes, he's just, or YouTube stuff goes, he's just not gonna mess with it anymore. Because again, it wasn't even monetized. So he's just like, why am I gonna? stress out and give myself a headache over it this isn't the first time he's had to do this either it's like second or third i think it's just second actually um that he's had to go through this and he just like got through like kind of like dealing with it and like kind of had it fixed or something and then it didn't get fixed anymore so it just sounded like a big headache You should put on an exhibit in the wall so more people will go down. Yeah. Yeah, we might do that. We just need to still put in the, uh, the Terrapin, the Frago. Maybe we could fit in right over here. Maybe we could fit him in right over here. Will you, will you do it? Be cool. Oh, oh, you're really high up in there. Actually, maybe down here. Yeah, what about like right here? Do, 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 do. Or maybe up here. Yeah, maybe up here. You see him on Twitch? Oh yeah, I'm sure he still hangs out with uh with the peeps. Uh, do, 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 do. Have a good one, Level. We'll see you later, buddy. Um, Miss Slately, I heard from her on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the last time that I heard from her. She dropped a line in the Discord. But other than that, no. No, I have not. But hopefully we see hear from her again. Who knows? Um, yeah, I don't know what she's like doing for work or anything like that, because... Um, I can't imagine the theme park she was working at has many has much going on this year, unfortunately. So I'm not too sure what Mist is up to. Miss, Dragon Miss, who Mel just mentioned there, she is the og -est of the OGs, actually. She is, like, <laughs> she was the original mod on Twitch. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, like, the most original of the originals. She was there from the start. She taught me how to stream, basically. I didn't know what I was doing for half. I, when I very first started streaming, I didn't even have a mic. I would type to people in chat. So that's sometimes why I like, um, and I still got followers that way and stuff. I think I got up to like affiliate on Twitch by just chatting to people, like by tap typing and to them while playing Planet Coaster and stuff. So um, you guys, you all can do it. I promise. You don't even need to have a bike sometimes. <laughs> I built it up from nothing. <laughs> Senor Domez has a right. Oof, face cam. Oof. Oh, sorry. All right. He said oof. No good. <laughs> uh, This is how I learned how to play the game and cover diff Oh, with um, Paul's Lee's tutorials, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can and I can't understand it, but, you know, I, I just... Battling YouTube that long can't be fun, so that, that's where I... Like, I would keep pushing it, maybe do, like, another channel and stuff, but that's me. Um, but yeah, battling that long with it, is, I can imagine, it start to get a little bit just tiring and is it worth... Especially if he's, again, if he's not monetizing, then I guess, like, yeah, what's the point? But... Yeah, no. You were number 49, yeah. Read and reply to chat like 90% of streamers. Um, yeah, I don't really understand that logic. Especially from smaller streamers. Because I know what you're talking about. And, and it, it <laughs> it's just like, um, hey dude, like, or dudette. I, I hate to break it to you, but you don't have 50,000 people watching you right now and um 
those people who do have 50,000 people watching them started just like you and probably, you know, you got to be a little personable there before you go straight into I'm Shroud mode or whatever. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, what I'm wanting it to do. It's not. It's not going to work. So we're just going to have it single, just kind of popping out of the, um, just no big deal. Have a good one, Lucas. We'll catch you later, buddy. We'll be live in... Oh, you know what? We're not going to be live in two days because in two days it is... Oh, no, yeah, we can be live in two days. That's Christmas Eve. We'll do a Christmas Eve stream. Yeah, we'll definitely have a Christmas Eve stream. We won't have a Christmas Day stream, though. That will be a day off. For sure. I'm sure y'all can understand. <laughs> so we'll have one stream on Christmas Eve and then take the next uh, day off and then come back the day after Christmas. Um, hey, what's up, David? What's up? Yeah, no, I try. I try. Um, I know sometimes I miss some stuff there, but I don't know. It just feels like a... Uh, it feels like a good hangout time, right? And it's not like I'm playing a game where I can't sit there and sometimes take a break. Well, I need to, honestly. Taking a break with this is a necessary uh, thing. For me, at least. But, um... Yeah, again, it's not like we're playing a game like a uh, first-person shooter or anything that... Come on! <laughs> that uh, requires us to... Uh, not look at chat or anything. I think I can get this work right. I just feel like that. I oh, just gotta get rid of it. Put it back again. Put that thing back where you came from, so help me! <coughs> Alright, there we go. We'll leave it like this. Just like this. Now what goes in here? Oh, the terrapin, that's right. Oh no! Our pathing got all borked. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> the pathing really got borked. I've never seen it do that before. That's what's great about the pathing in this game. You know, as as borked as it can get, it just does something new every day. I just, I just never know what I'm gonna see from the pathing in this game every single day. And I've been, and again, I have over just going on like over four thousand hours in the Planet series games overall. Something new every day from the pathing system. It's fantastic. It's just a Rubik's Cube that no one can ever solve. Um, it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. Oh, that's not the lyrics, but that's okay. Do you already have a... Uh, hey, one, two, three, look at us, pass through. Bam. Pew. There they are. Okay, let's go ahead and continue building the rocks. We're just going full on rocks down here and stuff. It's good. A Christmas Eve Doom stream. I mean, if there's anything more appropriate, I'm not sure what it is. Unless we can, like, turn all the demons into, like, Santa demons or something. They're probably the key to fully aquatic uh, terrariums that we could have uh, fully aquatic animals. They could, right? It looks like we kind of have the start of it there. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cute. Let's give him everything. You get this, and you get that, and you get this. Here's a turtle. You know what? You get a little bit of that, and you can have that, and you can only even have that. Cool. Wow, there we go. Lucas is back. Very entertaining, yeah. But I also don't know how many going away forever is he. Yeah, well, I think this is, uh, it sounds like he's pretty done. We'll see there. Level one pathing, my issue is where to place habitats. It's my biggest hurdle. I'd say I leveled up in most arenas to see to put in the time. And that's where we're looking at um, that's where looking at real zoos, if you're trying to go the real zoo route, at least, um, can really help out. Looking at, like, Google Maps of, uh, zoos. I love doing that kind of stuff. You know, actually, right here, this is gonna be much better if we use, like, plaster walling or something like that.
Oops, I don't mean to use a building. You haven't seen this exhibit model yet? Let's take a look then. Let's take a look. That's that's cool. You know, I mean, I push play. They're not going to do much more, but, you know, they kind of float around a little bit. And yeah, the, the entire um, exhibit itself, like we are uh, we were talking about there, kind of makes uh, an, a little alluding to possible aquariums. I mean, it doesn't sound like we'll get anything like that, but um, you could almost see it, right? Where they turn this whole thing into just a giant pool or a giant uh, water thing there. And uh, you could put some like fish in there or something like that. Totally love it if we got that. Oh, Jess is in the building. What's up, Jess? What's up, Jess? That makes me want to watch... Um, New girl. <laughs> uh, Google Earth is, yes. Yeah, Google Earth, Google Maps. Um, I think Google Earth is updated. More, no, they're updated at the same time. The only thing you, the only problem with those is that they have now gone on like four or five years of not being updated, which it is what it is. Um, but um, that is the only thing if you're trying to like do a recreation of like a current zoo or whatever. But overall, yeah, if you want to get a really good look at stuff, um, Google Maps Earth, insert here especially if you can get the little little yellow deuterino i think that's his official name and you grab me go whoosh, and you drop them on the little blue lines but zoos are weird about that because i think a lot of zoos are um owned uh are uh actually no i don't know why they are but um a lot of zoos on like theme parks don't let you or haven't like let google in to take pictures like columbus zoo i think is like that where there's only a few spots that you can uh see uh, pictures of it and stuff like that and um i think cincinnati zoo is like that too can't remember but they can expand the exhibit uh, box mechanics i'd love to see mixing and matching fish and some reptile oh mixing and matching would be cool um but not sure how it'd work in the engine well again if we could do like a bigger one if we, i almost want to make this bigger because it looks kind of funky right now. let me cover up the bottom of it But the large exhibit um, thing that was kind of being rumored for a little bit, that could be interesting. That could maybe be something that, um, you know, so like imagine it, a large exhibit box covering this entire wall here. And kind of like what you're talking about, like if you just click on the one big wall of exhibit box basically, and you can have multiple animals that you can put in and then, I don't know, yeah, how would it work? Like split it up into three sections and you can, but it all looks like one exhibit box. I don't know. I don't know, yeah, because they're kind of boxed in, haha, <laughs> with the way that they have it right now. Outdated theme park zoo street views are the only thing keeping the nostalgia. <laughs> remember four years ago? I remember. Remember? Some of them are even, some of them rather, are even older than that. Um, like, I'm doing Brookfield Zoo. Oh, well, I was. Um, I was doing Brookfield Zoo recreation for a little bit there, and I need to get back into that shit. Um, and some of the stuff, I'm like, okay, this has been, like, over 10 years. Backup music. Ready? Set. Where is it? There it is. Found it. And break. Nailed it. Nailed it. Do, 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, random goat, what's up, buddy? I like turtles. I like turtles. Uh, like, instead of purchasing a single fish, you purchase a school. That, that's what I would think it would be. Say a neon tetra with five fish in a school, and they just um, predetermine routes. And yeah, I totally would expect it to be like that. You don't buy, yeah, right. You don't just buy, like, a uh, fish or whatever. Um... Yeah, it would be like a school of fish. Totally. Totally, totally. Can I make a, uh, the terrapin look like a habitat? I'm watching his channel to see if he tackles this. He did mention that, didn't he? Let's hold the, hold the fire under his feet for that one. Because I'd like to see that as well. I kind of think you could. 
The only issue that really comes down to it is even when you make it... It's a little bit loud in my ear, so I just realized I was yelling. Um, even when you take off, let's see, these, like, and open it up, you still have the problem of... You still have the problem of seeing through it and having the, the glass edges. You couldn't really do it outside because you'd be able to tell immediately, but you might be able to... Oh, it doesn't do that, Control-Z. I mean, you might be able to blend in the, the little edges on an interior habitat like this. It wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be easy, that's for sure. The glass would block it. Yeah, and by the time that you cover it up with enough rocks or plaster or whatever your, your uh, whatever of choice is, I feel like you'd end up blocking most of the um, the habitat to not even be able to see it. Like, I don't think it's impossible, but to block all of this stuff, get the glass edges to be blocked as well, you're gonna be left with just this, you know, little bit left. Maybe you could like multiply it many times and spread it out that way, so it looks kind of neato. Hmm. No one puts William in 360p. Not even YouTube. Oh my gosh, if I mentioned how much fun it is to work on underground. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even brought out Frank. I'm just kind of assuming it kind of looks pretty good. It looks pretty... The height seems pretty all right, so I haven't really brought out Frank, but I, I have a feeling when we bring him out, I'm going to wish I did. What's happening to you? I might be losing a little bit of... We might be losing a little bit of steam. It's, I have good stream quality today. It's not excellent like it has been other days because my wife's home today. So she's watching, like, Netflix. She's watching Wanted. Um, but, uh, hopefully it kind of comes back. Come on back now, YouTube. Come on back now. Giant River Otter has joined the pack. You know, in uh, Thornton Hill Zoo, my otters are always joining the pack. I don't know if anyone else has this going on, but like, my otters are always like joining a pack. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, how many times do they need to join the pack? Or it's like someone gets kicked out or something? I don't know, but they're always joining the pack. <laughs> hello to Mrs. I will tell her that you say hello. <laughs> in the depth of the water, but hopefully he still tries. Ah, that's probably, that's probably true. We probably had an idea of what it was going to be, and then it kind of um, turned out a little bit different. Oh, hey, 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 Leaf. There it is. Give me your, give me, give me these. Give me these. Give me these. Figured out the stupid boat? You st stupid boat. Glad you figured it out. Oh, it's a little bit too big, but I think we can maybe make it work. Yeah, you know what? That does work. Shout out to Leaf. That's good. I'm glad you got that to work there. What's up, Aaron? <clears throat> What's the word, Aaron? Hope you're having a good start to your holiday week there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully if you're building any Planet Zoo stuff, you're having a good time doing that. Toodles! <laughs> YouTube recommended I watch otters jump and beat down a monkey because the monkey was picking one of the otters. Yeah! What the heck, monkey? What the heck, monkey? Monkeys can be such jerks sometimes. Slinging poo and beating up monkeys or otters. Psh, 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 psh. Cool. I think that's pretty good there. Um, let's just cover up this portion down here with some cement. 
some cement there. I got a I got a bunch of cement trucks coming in. <clears throat> Gotta lay it somewhere. Oh, that's like the perfect color for it. Oh my gosh. 9393939393. 9393939393. Nine three nine three nine three. How many? Two, four. So six nine threes is like, at least underground, like the perfect concrete color to match the uh, the in-game asphalt. Nine 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 nine. It slows down my zoo a bit, but you love it. The boat tour, man. I want to do the boat tour soon. Has anyone made the Jungle Cruise yet? They've had to have, right? Like, there's no way that no someone hasn't made the Jungle Cruise. But if not, I'd love to make the Jungle Cruise. But that idea had to... It, no, they already... Someone did that like the first day the game came out. Do some PowerPoint? What's a PowerPoint? Who is PowerPoint, nerd? If I finish early, I'll try and come back. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you later. What a nerd working with PowerPoint. What a nerd. <laughs> Sounding German? Yeah, well that was um that was a little throwback to last night with um D D. We finished up our campaign with Jonti and his one shot. It was really fun. We had a really, really fun time with it. And um we kept a lot of us kept rolling nine, so we just kept yelling out nine 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 <laughs> It was like an unprecedented amount of nines. Oh, that's like way too high. a lot better with the concrete concrete the lady might have um wait um uh, no sdn oh sdn did do a jungle cruise actually daw of course he did a jungle cruise he is mr disney right he is mr disney dollywood mr disney and dolly which dollywood costs as much as disney now so may as well Okay, now we can lower these as well, just a little bit, make it a little bit more flush with the actual path. Um, and then we will go, and I think we're done down here. No, I need to add like a little, um, uh, what? Seating, seating and stuff like that. Cool. Can we get a monologue with a German, with a German accent? Futuristic campaign, we rolled like five critical successes in seven weeks of play, <laughs> at least once a week, really? That's fun. I say it was pretty elaborate. Um, yeah, pretty elaborate boat tour. Yeah, he does. That's right. I totally forgot about that. No, yeah, but yeah, John T's one shot campaign. It, it ended really, really good. It was a fun, it was a good little story there for uh for a one shot. And it was really good for his first campaign overall. So can't wait to do some more um with that there. Now I just realized, is this flush? Yeah, it is. Dang, I just wish it didn't switch right there. See where it switches into the... Because right here, it looks so good. I love how this looks right here. But then it, it triggers the camera to think that it's underwater right here. And you get that little bit of a film, but, you know, what are you going to do? It, it, you know, it is what it is at that point. All right, let's put some uh, benches and stuff like that down. And then we're going to move up top. And we're kind of getting close to finishing up there. Oh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's a death stroke for a Planet Zoo build. I think we're almost done. Six hours later, it turns out he was not almost done. Ooh, is it not even going to let me put it under here? Uneven placement. Oh, really? Uh, let me put it some places. Ah, let me put it anywhere. Penguins are about to mate. We're gonna get some baby penguins. Baby penguins. Uh, cheers, Aaron. Appreciate that. Yeah. 
a little bit of a it's a little bit of a struggle to get it um like this but with the underwater um tunnel and everything but it's so worth it it is so worth it cool 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 let's um hey what's that oh it's the tree i thought that was i thought those were bones and i was about to say no they can't die <laughs> they literally can't die uh you finished that way quicker than i thought it would fall so well that took you like 30 seconds did you hear we call you a nerd for using powerpoint by the way because you are you're like what a nerd <laughs> the seals expecting offspring oh wait 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 i don't want the and they're expecting offspring okay everyone's boinking everyone is boinking i need y'all just to just stop for heather g you're expecting offspring <laughs> heather is a... and and Mati oh my gosh one penguin has um just has very is very good at reproducing <laughs> can i do it from here or do i need to um okay let me just find is it you dude boinker waldo you're good bro i'm gonna i gotta put you on the i gotta dude what a what a bro look at this dude he, he should be happy man way to go all right penguins y'all need to stop boinking as well i need y'all just to just to calm it down a little bit here Okay. I have 10 and 10. Shoot. And they're all hungry? Wait, why? Oh, I don't have a zookeeper. It's okay. They're not going to die because they can't. <laughs> but it would be nice if they weren't hungry. Wait, you're all stuck. I don't understand. Anyways. Did I fill this with a food thingy over here? Yeah, you're you all talking about tired and stuff. Look, you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. Um, It has to be Chad. Oh, man. Turn down blinking and settings. What? Oh, boinking and settings? We can, yeah, boinking. We can, <laughs> blinking, yeah. Well, I want to leave it on until we get a baby otter. I just want to leave it on until we get a baby otter. Oh, but the penguins keep wanting to have a time. Stop. Chad, Chad, stop it. Stop it, Chad. Glad that we clicked on Chad first. Chad was being the biggest Chad. All the males were just snipping ya. Snip, 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 snip. Maybe we'll unsnip another time, but as of right now, snip, snip, mother truckers. Don't run away from me. Leaf, you thought you could run away? Snip, snip. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, for a few days, love the community spirit. Yeah, thanks, MS Queen. Appreciate you. Yeah, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to take the new, next two days off. We'll do a Christmas Eve stream. And then we'll take uh, Christmas Day off. And then be back again Christmas day after christmas all right they're they're all snipped and everything keep an eye out here don't let me miss the baby penguin because i bet they'll they'll be uh pretty awesome to see all right um over here there <gasps> i saw that one in real time that was awesome ms queen what the heck have i done to deserve your gracious gratuity there holy heck of rudy smith thank you so much for all the donations over the last three days that has really, really made um, the holidays a lot more bright. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. Again, yes, again, we do we do claps, we do GGs, we do all that fun stuff there. Thank you so much. Yes, 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 yes. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really awesome. And it has a cool GIF with it too. I love the little GIFs. Like I just sit here and watch the little GIF with it. What is that thing? Like, what is that thing? That's, can y'all see the thing? I'm sure you can, if I can, you can. That's like godzilla the city. We get good dinner tonight. That's, we are gonna get, that's a good point. You know what, we are gonna get good dinner tonight. We haven't um, gone, well, obviously we haven't gone out to eat all year, um, but we haven't like ordered out or anything in a long time. Maybe we will have that this week, that's awesome. <laughs> it's an avocado, I I'm gonna go with that too. I love that it's an avocado. <laughs> Of course it's an avocado. It's a pear. It's a pear avocado. 
Looks like the things from the Dumb Ways to Die. Dumb Ways to Die. I'm not familiar with that, Blue Ink. I'm not familiar with that. But seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, y'all. Let's build the... Bounce it back between these two things. Let's go ahead and over here there. You say pear, I say avocado. Pear, avocado, pear, avocado. It's all the same when you really boil it down. <laughs> oh, heck. Oh, heck. Who put the big hole? Who did this? Who did this? It's... <laughs> Thank you, Warble. It's a... It's a pavocado. Thank you, Warble. I don't know what we would do without... Without... <laughs> without Warble sometimes. I don't know what we do without Warble sometimes. <laughs> Alright, now that we fixed the big old hole... No! Aunt Crispy! You can't! You can't just do that. Did I miss... I missed somebody. I missed holly -ish. <laughs> Stop it. Gosh. Just keep your... Your ding dings in your sing sing, all right? I don't know what that means. Let's just move on. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right, so back here, we're gonna put down the rocks. It is time for more of the rocks. <clears throat> I am the middle ground, yes. <laughs> You're caught, yeah, would y'all just like, just keep it in your, your pants? All right. I, I thought we had a ro um, rock thing already going here. Would y'all just try and just keep it in your pants for just a little bit? <laughs> have the Caymans, uh, have the Caymans had their babies yet? No, I don't believe that they have. So that's right, Merry Christmas in case I don't catch you in the next few days. Linda coming in with 10, not dollars, 10, Euros, ha, because different parts of the planet. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate the shnikes out of you. You have all been just crazy hella generous today. I guess everyone is in the giving mood at this holiday time. But yeah, thank you so much, my friend. Let's get GGs and claps in the chat. GGs and claps in the chat, please, for Linda. Woohoo, yeah, there we go. I like how yours is so bright and like a gold banner just came across the screen. That's awesome. So... <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. I appreciate the heck out of y'all. And same back to you, Linda. I realized I didn't say that. Merry Christmas to you. As well. <laughs> oh, I love seeing the chat just go up with all the claps. All the chatty claps there. All our chatty Cathy's clapping. Y'all are gonna make me blush. <laughs> Y'all are gonna make me blush. Is that too small? Is that too low? Hey, Mr. Keeper, dude. That is not your gate. <laughs> nope, that's perfect. That is, uh... Remember, weren't they doing this the other day? Weren't they doing this the other day? When, um... The keepers were just kind of choosing to be like, You know what? I think this is gonna be, <laughs> gonna be the gate now. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely have to go out for a, a nice meal, to, or not go out, but uh, have a nice little meal tonight. Treat yourself. You gotta treat you, have a treat yourself night. Hey, Crocodilian. What's up, buddy? How are you today? Good to see you. Glad you could make it on back. Hope you're having a good start to your holiday week there. We're having a good start to the holiday week. Leave coming in hot with the seat. Coming in hot, even though it was late, it was perfect still. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what? First, while we're over here, I need to fix the, yeah, they can get out over here. Let's just put in um the elephant grass, I guess. Just kind of block it, because I like how this kind of looks right here. <laughs> Excuse me, Hecaruni. Hecaruni Smith. We'll just do the cheat. Just gonna cheat just a little bit, just a little bit. I guess those of you that don't know, here's your little tip for the day. The elephant grass acts as like a barrier in itself. 
So if you ever see creators or um, anyone talk about putting down uh, elephant grass to block animals, that's what they mean. The elephant grass, for some reason, has a hitbox around it. That's ginormous. Um, all right, Primal, sounds good, buddy. Um, so yeah, if you put down elephant grass, it is like a barrier. So you can kind of use it to um, fake out some of the habitats there. So let's see if we put that down there. Let's see now. See, it kind of acts as a, as a barrier there. So we'll put some over here as well, kind of block it. So yeah, I don't know what the reason is, but yeah, elephant grass acts as a, and you can see it right here where the barrier is right there. It acts as a little barrier. Just make, yeah, make your, just make a, you know what? Why even, why just stop there when you could just, just make a wall. Just make a wall of elephant grass and it'll totally work. <laughs> there, habitat wall, boom. Your son and daughter law are coming in for Christmas morning. That'll be fun. You're making tomato cheddar and broccoli strata with a citrus salad. What is a, oh, a French toast too. That sounds really good. What is a citrus salad? Is that just like fruit? Like, um, just like oranges and limes and stuff like that? Like, uh, kind of put together. What's your favorite pack in Planet 2? Harrison has to be the aquatic pack. Hands down, it has to be the aquatic pack. No, you S, you, 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 you. I was about to block your way to get out of there, you. <laughs> I kind of got stuck in a you loop. But yeah, I would say the aquatic pack is uh, hands down my favorite pack. There's just, um... Now, it's the smaller of the packs as, as far as um, piece count goes, but I still think it has enough new mechanics in it and stuff like that that make it um, a lot of fun and worth a buy. And again, like the faux rocks, like these rocks that we're using right here, these are the faux recolorable rocks. I think they're worth the price of the pack alone, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a really, really good pack. So yeah, it goes... Uh, overall, it goes uh, Australian pack, or no, Australian, aquatic pack, um, South America pack, Australia pack, Arctic pack. That's my pack tier list. All right, now they should be good. They should be stuck on in there. They are. You can still get up here, which is kind of weird though. I'm not a big fan of that. So we'll kind of use the elephant grass some more. Do some blocking. You thinking about getting it? I, you know, this is um, a pack that I wouldn't even wait for a sale. If you have like, you know, if you get some uh, like a Steam gift card or something, you have some extra cash laying around for the holidays. I would look into getting it right away. It's, it's a, um, yeah, it, it's a really necessary pack, especially more so if you're like a really big builder like I am and others. If you're really into the building aspect, there's so many really great things that come with it. Again, the faux rocks are a must have for any builder. Um, the recolorable wood panel set, like this one here, this is recolorable wood here. Really, really good. This roof set right here is also recolorable. Like um, all of the different tiles are recolorable like that. So you can make some ridiculous kind of things with it. Um, it's, it's really worth it. Again, it has 170 pieces in it compared to the normal 240 and you can kind of feel that you do go through the pieces a little bit quicker than normal but the pieces that you do get with it are very they're like necessary basically to be doing really really good builds oranges grapefruit uh pomegranate seeds with yogurt granola pistachios and coconut that sounds really good that sounds really good yeah th yeah no I, I would totally be uh, be all over that I'd be all about that. I feel like something should go here, doesn't it? Like maybe another statue. Let's do another statue over here because I think uh, Lord knows we have enough uh, of the uh, otter statues. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Seriously, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve. What is? What's that percentile? If there's 170 pieces in the pack. And 12 of them are otter statues. What percentage of the pack is otter statues? I'm just curious. Because, I mean, I love I love a good statue, don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> but, um. It is not 7% leaf, is it really? I mean, I believe, I'm like, that's more of a disbelief kind of reaction than not believe you. <laughs> but 7% of the pack is otter statues, so. 14 point something percent. Oh my gosh, now we have two of them that are that are half of each other. Who do I believe? The PowerPoint guy or Crocodilian? 
What, what do we use over here? What do we use over here? Well, the penguin's about to have the offspring. Let's pause it real quick. The embryo statue. I know, it kind of looked weird. It kind of looked a little bit weird. Okay, so I use this one over here. So let's use this one. This one. Over here. More temple? We have to do more temple. Uh, why can't um, I attach a clock face to a clock tower? It keeps trying to go inside. Do you have F on? Make sure F is on. So it can snap. Yeah, we do need some more temple. That's what, like, what we're going for. Use the calculator unless you did it wrong. Well, either way, 14% or 7%, those are both um, higher percentage of numbers in a pack that has lower piece count in it. Yeah, it, sh it should... Mm. <laughs> mm. I know you don't need to keep telling me. It's not great. Not great. <laughs> Maybe we can get this uh, instead of the concrete for the front. We'll get uh, temple pieces for the front of it, for the front facade here. Because we do have that, right? We have a temple set. Cha. Cha, bra. Actually, I just want that piece again. <laughs> just this one again. We're gonna put it just up and over this way. Yo, welcome back, Primal! <clears throat> Let me boot up. Uh, I tried to play last night and it wouldn't start, so I ended up playing City Skylines and had two tsunamis back to back. City Skylines, man. That is such a frustrating game for me. Such a frustrating game. Cause I want to play it and be like into it and then I play it and I download a bunch of workshop items and then I like I boot it up and I'm like eh now I'm done <laughs> I want to like play it hardcore though one time I actually like, build out a city but I just never get like I don't know I just never quite get into it <clears throat> I get overwhelmed I feel like I get how some of you are in Planet Zoo with um, City Skylines. It's kind of overwhelming. That's the game I'd rather watch and not play. Yeah, I'm the same way, because I do. I watch um, like $2.20 and um, used to watch like Fresh Popcorn and a few other um, people who are really, really good at uh, City Skylines, and I've been keeping up with Commando Santa, who uh, used to play a lot of Planet Coaster and stuff, but um, <clears throat> he uh, started doing more 
see Skylines random content, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, whenever I try and load it up to do any of that kind of stuff, I'm just like, Fuck, I don't even know right now. But I want to, but I can't. <laughs> so it's just a never-ending, like every three months, I'll just load it up and try, and then it usually ends up in me going, Fuck. Baby Dwarf came in last night, and oh my god, it's so cute, it looks like a dragon you could put in your pocket. That was the game that got me really into gaming. My son um, had it from the get-go. Oh, really? City Skylines? Yeah. You tried that game, but mo the mouse buttons don't do anything. I can't move um, around. Gave up. Huh. That sounds interesting. Looks so easy when they play it. I know, and that's what I mean Like when I uh, say that I kind of understand what people say when they're like, how do you do what you're doing in Planet Zoo? I'm just like, well, you know, you just... I don't know. You just, like, do it. You just, like, put stuff down and then it happens, and it's great. <laughs> that was one the same way with City Skylines. Like, how are you like doing the thing with the and the buildings and it looks good and what? Because when I do it, I just like my eyes. I get cross-eyed and then I pass out and I wake up with a bloody nose. Like, how do you do it? I don't know if I'm able to get this color right. Actually, it doesn't need to be the same color as that. Let's just make it kind of the... Uh... Yeah. yeah. Color match set for items in game versus flexicolor ones, like faux rocks and what you're doing right now. I'll put it on a list and try to have it in the next com. That would be cool. Uh, basically, more intensive color palette. Right, right. I think that'll help a lot of people too, the color palette thing, or switching up colors and stuff like that. Especially with the new faux rocks. Oh, so many possibilities. Yeah, that'd be cool. Select a few of these and go a little bit different color here. Blend them in a little bit. Go and steal another one of the Leaf's things here because I think we can fit one more in. It'll look pretty cool. Oh, please work out how I think I'm going to. It's not. It's fine. Well,. Loading plants? It can work. You can make it work. Put some plants underneath of it. And then it's not so floaty anymore. But you still kind of get this, you know what? I think I like that. Oh, I think I like it a lot. Let's get in some new plants in there. I'm using the rhubarbs too much. Is there such thing? Probably not, but I think I am. <laughs> um, I kind of wish there was an I know the eyedropper tool would be amazing like ugh. if you're gonna give us the option to have a um, choose any color you want kind of thing then yeah like an eyedropper tool is like almost a must have it feels like right having a good start to your holiday week so far welcome into the otter habitat build here can you get the albino animals yes you can 
Yep, you definitely can. But you don't have a PC? Yeah, well, <laughs> I just can't believe you don't um, you don't play the game. It's kind of a bummer. You have all this knowledge and good building ideas, but you can't play the game. Hopefully you can do that soon. How are we looking inside? Perfect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was going to see about adding these. Uh, Mealy's Trees. We reviewed these on stream last week, but Mealy's uh, tree set is so good. Yeah, here they are. They, um, and they made these amazing palms with them. That I think we maybe can throw in here. Oh, excuse me. You got PS4, VR, and an Xbox, so my parents like, no more game systems. Oh man, trade them all in for a PC. Trade them all in for a PC. Every single one. Start now. <laughs> Ooh, I like these. I don't know how well they fit in though. Oh, they don't really fit in. Not there at least. Maybe over here. No, because it doesn't have that like jungle kind of feel to it, right? So I think we'll just stick with, um, I like these, but yeah, they're not fitting in quite with, oh, this one's kind of cool. I like that. Are the albino lions so hard to get in the sandbox? I don't know, honestly. I don't really mess around with the albino animals too much, but um, maybe someone else knows. But I have seen them pop up more. I think in a recent update for the game, they made it easier. That's cool. Um, they made it easier for albino animals to show up overall. So... Yeah, I'm not too sure, though. Hey, Jake, what's up, buddy? You need to upgrade your PC really bad. Uh, problem is I'm horrible with the parts that I have no idea what to do. Uh, you can go on, like, PC Parts Picker. Um, that is a pretty good website that you can, like, build your PC on there that you're thinking. And that'll usually kind of steer you in the right direction. I think on that one they have a section where you can put in like the computer that you want to build and it'll let you know if it's like compatible with everything going on and it kind of like brings you through the steps kind of thing too I like that, that looks pretty cool you got some new RAM you should download it from the RAM site the RAM website your screen doesn't even light up when it's in oops, oops, maybe you downloaded it from the bad RAM website You can never not have a dust app PC. Right. It's it's a necessity. I agree. I agree. Online retailers often have a similar tool to tell you build your PC. Yeah, with the online uh, bits there. Hey, what's up there, uh, Emma, Emma, Nan Emma Nance? <laughs> Sorry, Piper. Um, actually, I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna, gonna just gonna, uh, call you dopes. That's right, dopies. <laughs> Put on a few more dead little trees right here, and then, yeah, we're like getting pretty close to being done.
Uh, councils are fun too. Yeah, I like a good council every once in a while. I haven't had a council in years. I haven't really seen a need to get one. But every once in a while, there is a game on there that I will want to play. Yeah, I was the first time I got a like ultra like really really good PC. Or, oh, I didn't do the interior interior of this at all. Um, what's because of Planet Coaster? Yep, I was the same. I was the same. And then Planet Zoo, I upgraded my uh, PC again, and I'll probably wait to upgrade it again until Planet uh, Coaster Two comes out. <laughs> I imagine. <clears throat> if I need to, hopefully by that time with this PC that I built. Now I'll just need to upgrade certain things, not like the whole thing. Because again, I have like 32 uh, gigs of RAM and like the graphics card will need to be upgraded, but that's no big deal. Definitely extra RAM. I have all the RAM. <laughs> I have all the RAM. I have a brand, I have a new computer, Mel. I don't know if you knew that or not, but I got a new computer probably about a year ago now for um, playing at Zoo altogether. I think we're pretty good with everything in there. Um, at most, I'd want to lift this up one more to cover the back. No, it's already kind of covered. Uh, let's put up some plants that are kind of growing underneath here, some roots and stuff. And then, man, yeah, we're I'm really feeling pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close. These are also, oh, excuse me. I thought we had some bigger looking ones. That's fine. Ah, oh, cheers, dopes. Appreciate that. <clears throat> How's your uh, zoo coming along? The PC is three years old and it's still strong like a bull. You have 32 gig as well. I need to replace my water cooler. What graphics? I have the 1070 Ti. I believe it's the 1070. That's the only place I kind of skimped a little bit was the graphics card. Ten seventy, yeah, it's it's been fine so far. I haven't had any issues with it. Every newer game I've downloaded or what, oopsie, um, or anything like that, I've haven't had any, you know, like frame rate issues. Oh, um, oh, never mind, never mind. All right, we already talked about that. Let's see. So we cover up this little bit here. It's kind of hard to tell if I'm covering it up or not. There we go. <laughs> It's a great graphics card. Yeah, well, when I got it, the the person I was dealing with, the salesperson, they said that, like, while it's not the, you know, state-of-the-art, whatever, brand new one, out of, like, all the graphics card, they think it's, like, one of the better ones for longevity. Um, and it wouldn't need to upgrade it for a little bit. And again, I haven't had any issues with it. Like, none whatsoever. <clears throat> but, you know, when, uh, when newer games do come out that I want to get, I'm sure I will need to upgrade it. Told me about the double barrier is the path is weird so i'm gonna have to redo the path and then add that yeah i was thinking that i was thinking you may be able to get away with it without doing the redoing the path but you'll probably have to redo it <laughs> you'll probably have to redo it. it'll be worth it i um a lot of times and y'all have seen me do it here on stream but most times the first iteration of a habitat is not even close to being the final one right kind of look at it like uh, writing a paper your first draft is you know your idea draft Kind of the same way when building habitats or building a coaster, anything like that. The first iteration is usually like, okay, that was a cool idea. Now let's like start to get it going how we actually want it to look like. Um, so yeah, while it's a bummer to redo things, especially in the planet games, uh, doing that is is a great thing to do. It's a great thing to get in the habit of is to redo habitats and stuff like that or whatever. You have 1080, works just fine. Right, works just fine. Yep. Um, 
You love this little area? Oh yeah, our little back end area here? Yeah, it kind of worked out. Well, before, remember, and speaking of, you know, different iterations, uh, before we just had the path wrap around here and had the little fencing bit just go over here. And then we were decided to put this into a mountain and do a big temple and stuff like that. So just always go back and like never be, sa I mean, at a point get satisfied with what you've done. But, you know, that's why I always pull back the camera. You'll see Estan do the same thing where we just will sit here and kind of spin the camera around and just kind of look. Um, I, we, I know I do, and I'm sure he does as well, and other builders, but we'll just do that to just kind of look and just kind of reassess where we're at. You know, um, does this look good? I'm kind of like, that's what I'm looking at right now. Is there anything else I want to add back there? Looking over here. I'm uh, looking over here because this area is kind of barren, but that's kind of okay. So you're just kind of always assessing different areas and never, you know, never checking off an area being done until it's done, 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 done. <laughs> makes you feel better when you redo oh no yeah always redo your habitats i i always say re redo them definitely redo them that just shows that you're you know you're willing to evolve your build and not just get stuck if you if you can tell that there's a better way to do it your you know your build style is evolving your and uh stuff like that there do, 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 do. so the bear would uh, look good but yeah i'll just need to tweak a little bit of things definitely definitely did you get a uh, Ryzen processor by chance? I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't remember, to be honest. Where's the cover? I don't have it in this zoo. Okay, I hope I have it downloaded. You have a 1070 or 1080? Yeah, yeah, they're good, right? Oh, man, we're going to have to go run to... Thornton Hills Zoo, I think, real quick. Ah, is this it? New. Nope, that's, I mean, those are good from Savannah, but we're going to have to go take a field trip, everybody. We're going to go take a field trip real quick to uh, Thornton Hills Zoo so I can grab a, uh, a shader or two. Bam. Bam. This, this zoo takes a little bit to load into. <laughs> a little bit. Um... You don't know much about lingo about about oh for planet coaster we got some cool lingo some cool lingos for it grab a buddy yep grab a buddy you didn't bring your permission slip you get to stay home then you can stay home or no you know what you get to stay in class with you have to go into um the second graders class for the day because you didn't bring your permission slip so you have to go into another class with another teacher everyone yeah. someone needs a buddy heather heather and primal are buddies because they need buddies there you need buddies uh just bought near top of the line pc back then so it'll hold up for a decent well um yeah like i don't that's why i always kind of struggle with it like i know about the graphics card for sure i know how much ram i have cpu that's where i get a little fuzzy and motherboard is where i get fuzzy usually too um but yeah i've worked with the same company twice now when they've helped me build my pcs and they've been great both times i haven't been let down so i've just kind of trust their judgment so oh poison blade oh poison blade i missed your stream yesterday for um your map building and I was I was I was bummed about that. I need to go back and watch that. Yeah, either until Horizon. Yeah, I'm not sure which one it is. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember to be honest with you. I should have started. Um, I should have started a timer. I'm kind of interested how long it's taking Planet or uh, Thornton Hill Zoo to load in now, because it's longest zoo. It's it's also the biggest zoo I have there. Another beard. Your beard envy it better. Yes. Yes. Oh, I need to trim it up a little, a little bit. It's getting a little bit, um, it's getting a little bit, uh, mountain man going. But I don't mind the mountain man look, you know? I can, I can kind of dig on the mountain man look. You saw a dino themed PC and you kind of want it? Nice. <laughs> nice. Mine looks pretty spiffy now. Like, I have the glass case on the side so you can see everything going on in the inside. And got some, I have like a, a custom, like, lighting set thingy that I can like hit a button on top and it like does flashing lights or it goes with like my music which is pretty cool um 
So that's pretty neat. I don't have like special cooling or anything. I got more cooling spots for it. Like the top of it is all a grate for the most part. And then on top of the grate, I have this little shield protector, like dust collector protector. So that's pretty cool to have like the whole top of it be a grate because the airflow in it is amazing. And the back of it has like, compared to my old computer, it has like, I think two more. Yeah, it's like, so four. I think that's four in total air uh, fans going. So it's, it stays very, very cool. Cool. Me as a platinum blonde, that was me when I was a kid. When I was a baby, was a baby. Um, I was definitely platinum blonde, but as I've gotten older, my dad has like dark, like black brownish kind of hair and my mom is like platinum blonde almost. So when I was a kid, I did, I had like really bright, bright blonde hair. And um, I don't like this song. I skip it every time. I need to get rid of it on the playlist. It's just, it's not fun. Um, so yeah, that is actually the end of the playlist. Let's switch over to Spotify. Spotify! But yeah, as I've gotten older, I've grown into more dark hair. Spotify! Oh, that's, um, that's Rise Against. That's not, <laughs> that's not copyright free music. You cannot listen to Rise Against. There we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. All right, welcome to Thornton Hill Zoo, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's running like a bee sting. 20 frames per second, that's all right. Um, what did I come in here for? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a few of the these things. I would love to save you. Cool, saved that, and I would like to save a hill. All Yas Queen. These are gonna be the Yas Queen blueprints. Oh, I, I put chat down. I can't even see what y'all are saying anymore. Do do do. do. What's up, Daniela? How are you? How are you? Your hair is dark brown, uh, borderline black. I think mine's gonna eventually get like that. Is there anything, I mean, I kinda wanna build in Thornton Hill Zoo. What if we just stopped and just built in Thornton Hill Zoo? I have this going on right now. I think I'm gonna delete this though. I think I'm gonna delete this uh, restaurant that I started here. It's not bad. I just had like this big open spot in the middle here. Actually, I had this idea of deleting all of this path work, like all through here, and just getting rid of that whole thing and just putting up a wall between these two habitats, two elephants, but that would, that would suck and I would get rid of so much work. But um, I just yeah I started this little thing there because I wanted to have a little um, little seating area out by the uh, elephants here. Shout out to Leaf, by the way. <laughs> Delete it all. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, you know what? Let's do this real quick. Speaking of that, I haven't done this for Thornton Hill Zoo before. Oh, that wasn't that bad. It only did half of it. <laughs> it only did half the zoo. <laughs> I was gonna say it is not six thousand pieces. It is not 6,000 pieces. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. Got a little bit more that time. How we doing? How we doing? It's not that many. Look at that. It's not even that many. 21,546 pieces. That's it. Mia. That is it. All right, delete. Oh, it didn't let me delete. <laughs> just go through and start to start all right that was fun i had a lot of fun building that bye bye i can't delete anything in the zoo <laughs> it's awesome uh i know that's it i'm kind of like hella surprised to be honest with you and most of the pieces probably came from uh carlos here no way because that's two thousand pieces alone well do, wait does it count when i do this as a group does it count every individual piece or does it count things that are like in groups because like that's says 6,000 pieces, but this is only one. So is it counting that as like multiple pieces in it or is it counting it only as one in this? Like, so out of the 3,844, is it counting this big building that has, you know, possibly thousands of pieces in it as one? I don't know how, it's, uh, how it counts it. But anyways, uh, is there anything else I wanna use in this um, area from Thornton Hills? 
It still counts as groups, not individual pieces. So you're saying that it counts as building in that in that big 3000 number or whatever that I just selected, that's counting that building as one? Because this structure is realistically over a thousand pieces and this one is also over a thousand pieces. As one makes sense, no way this is such a low piece count. That that's It's really low. It's really low. Like 21,000 for all this, that's 125, that's 267. Carlos, that's 68 for Carlos, Carlos's roof. 2,000 something for the, the entrance there. Um, where's, you know, this whole structure here is a couple thousand at least, and that's not even the interior. You know, here's the interior with all that. It's gotta be more than that. It's gotta be more than that. So, but anyways, um, that's that's kind of fun to look at. Let's head back to the other zoo. It'll take like two seconds to load into the other zoo comparatively. Into sexy sex exhibit, that's right. <laughs> into sexy sex exhibit. No buildings over 20,000 pieces. I, was, I know, I gotta get my, uh, my custom roofing and my custom walls going. Let's just start to build all walls out of wood plank pieces. The government shut down the zoo and just delete everything like Thanos snap. That's what we'll do for the very last one. Yeah, the very last episode. Yeah, we'll Thanos snap the whole zoo. That's how we'll end it. We'll just say that the whole this whole series was a dream. We'll just we'll I'll I'll edit it so that it's like and this like you'll wake up and be like oh, snap. I had this dream about the zoo that took over a year to build. It was all a dream. You can shame all you want, Poison Blade, but I'm just sitting over here in my comfy 40 to 30 frames per second. Like, <laughs> oh, and what's this? My zoo loaded in in under an hour? <laughs> War Wario laugh. Just insert Wario laugh. <laughs> um. All right, so we're going to put down hearts, Poison Blade. <laughs> Our two shaders there. Shade. That's like when people, <laughs> my frames are, yeah. That's like when people are like, yeah, well, I have a thousand hours in the game. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> like, like are you, oh, oh, we're gloating about that. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know we were gloating about that now too. <laughs> I also have 30, I see, I, I picture Poison Blade now as sounding like that, like, nee, 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 kid. Like, I also get 30 frames a second. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to move the building over just a little bit to make this work, but that is okay. Frank has entered your zoo. Good. Frank is the best. Yeah, but I get 30. And I got a million pieces. <laughs> Alright, let's move this sucker over a little bit. Actually, we don't need to move it over. We can just, um, eh, no, we're going to need to move it over. <laughs> That works. That works. Oh, heck. I yawned. Shh. <laughs> All right, so that works, that works. Talk to Mr. Farty, airdrop some uh, chili to him that will... <laughs> no, not Mr. Farty. He's been so good lately too, now that it hasn't been a holiday week. We've been we've been um, not having to endure the wrath of Mr. Farty lately. All right, bro, now I actually have to go. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just keep thinking you have to go do nerd stuff, but then you don't have to do it. All right, buddy, have a good one. We'll talk at you later, all right? The calm before the storm, yes. Have a good one, buddy. He's off to do nerd things. Off to be a nerd. Just do a simple. Does this 
have a way in. Where's the door? Oh, there it is. We can totally just scooch this over a little bit. One way or another, we can either scoot this over or the door over. Yeah, that works. Oh, oh, let's just do this this time. All right, so that, that, I'll move this over a little bit. There go. You realize I mostly just bully Drew. Yeah, you big bully face. Gosh, I'm no I'm nice with most others. I must just have a I must just have a face that is is bullyable. I have a I have a bullyable bullyable. <laughs> I have a bullyable face. I feel like something else should go right over here. Let's put maybe one of the big trees. <clears throat> Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think it's just time to kind of start shoring it up a little bit here. For the most part. And we do a lot of little detail work off stream. Um, and I mean, yeah, so the next video that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show off this kind of uh, pretty much completed area. Kind of gotta do some more stuff over here. Um, and then yeah, we'll do a full cinematic and then we'll like release the whole thing. That'll be the next kind of little bits that we do there. At least the whole thing for y'all to either just take a look at it or keep building it however you want to. Some PCs would uh, break with just this part. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. There's not that much in this in this uh, place. I hope, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, let's get guests going in here too while I'm uh, while I'm doing some minor little works here. Cool. Um, you just want to melt PCs? Always. I don't want you to come here at all. Oh, I forgot to sh uh, show this off. I started to do the <laughs> fun bit of um, the underground stairway area here, and it's just its just such a bummer. <laughs> it's such a bummer to work with all this down here. But I've gotten it pretty well uh, going, so that's just on me and another Frank. Um, but yeah, I started to get the stairwell kind of um, in place here a little bit. So I'm working on that off stream as well. I'm working on that off stream as well. All right, so we have that, we have that. Place some more big trees here. <laughs> Poison bleed. Uh, all right, uh, Savannah, have a good one there. I wanna eat today. Food is good. Food is good. We'll catch you later, all right? Catch you later. Catch you later. What's up, silly? <clears throat> you are. You are on a roll. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hope you're having a good day there. Welcome on in. We are just kind of finishing up our uh, otter habitat for the day. We're going to be finishing up here not too long. Now, instead of those, we're going to put a tree right in there. Oh, 
Oh, that's why I said it now. Where we see Drew get hungry, sleepy, loopy instead of only hearing it. I mean, it's the visual aspect of it isn't much different. It's it's mainly the audio. You 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 get the best part of it when I get loopy. You get the best part for sure. <laughs> Get the best part. All right, let's keep doing that over this way. Just woke up like 15 minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Got some coffee. Um, All's nice. Uh, and yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it is, it is working out, right? Yeah, it's working out pretty nice. I like how this is turning out. Cover up the back end here with the Brazilian nut tree. That's always pretty nice when you don't really know like what you're getting into with a build, which has been every single one of these builds has been like that, just kind of a, okay, let's see what happens. Um, and then when, yeah, when they start to actually turn out, it's like, hey, you know what? This actually looks like a thing. This actually ended up looking like a thing. <clears throat> All right, what benches look good throughout here? I kind of like these aquatic benches. Change all the colors of them, too. Yeah, I like how you can change all the colors. You think bench should go in where the benches are? Bench. It's uh, so easy to get stuck with the small palette. Yeah, and that's kind of like what I was stuck with. Um, thank you, by the way. Um, I was kind of stuck with that in Thornton Hill Zoo kind of purposefully because, again, like when you look at, you know, realistic zoos or trying to do like realistic-ish zoos, um, most places like the foliage palette is not too big. <clears throat> but when you get into like these more kind of tropical kind of settings, you can really mix and match. And I think that's a lot of it too, is not being afraid to mix up kind of the tropical um, trees with some of like the temperate kind of trees. Cause you see that a lot in not so much jungles, but just like zoos in general and parks and stuff where you'll have kind of a tropical setting, but also have the local fauna as well in there. So you kind of get a good mix and match of it there. So yeah, bench is bench, bench is best bench. Best bench is best bench. Um, okay, I did want to cover up over here. If we have a... Oh, actually, let's use the, this right here, right? Because this is not gridded. Don't be gridded. <gasps> it's not gridded. It's awesome. Ooh, I thought it was totally flush with the ground. That's okay. Actually, this looks kind of neato speedo. Tripping hazard? Sure. But... Uh, that's okay. Just watch your step. <laughs> this was just watch your step. It's not a biodome, but we have um, one where I live, uh, where you live really. Um, and when you visit, um, you see all kinds of plants in each bio. I would love to visit a biodome. A, because of the movie, and B, just because it'd be awesome. I mean, I guess I've kind of been to one. No, it, was, it wasn't it was a biodome. It was just a straight up, um, like, greenhouse. Botanical garden, botanical garden, that, that's what it was. But it didn't have like all the different like desert and all that fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is just natural selection is what we're doing. If your kid trips and falls and hurts themselves, well, they, sh they shouldn't have done that. Just don't do that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, well, <laughs> yeah, big ol' oh, well. Oh, I didn't add a door here or anything. That's your, that's the sign of don't do that.
<laughs> this, this carpet keeps making a lot of noise when I step on it. Yeah, it's a kid. Oh, well, tell him not to move so much. Tell him he's moving too much. Silbin, you out? Okay, buddy. Happy holidays. Yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you in the next one, okay? We will see you in the next one. Always good to see you. Okay, benches over there, benches over here. Um, oh, I guess we should finish this area out over here. What, what's the plan here, pass through? What was the plan here? Do, do, do. Actually, we'll have it end in a tree of some sort. This feels like a perfect little area to put, get some with the palm trees at. Like the straight up, yeah. Oh, These fit in really well in like a lot of different areas when you're doing like the tropical thing, these little palm trees. Love them. And I kind of forget that I can use them a lot more <laughs> since I'm not really caring about full on realistic fauna and everything. That, that's it, right? That's the stuff right there. I love making like, I talk about this a lot in my Planet Coaster videos, but like natural overhangs or natural reveal points basically, um, kind of like let me get it over here a little bit as you kind of come out see how you make the overhang just a little bit lower so then as you come out it's more of like a wow like a big reveal kind of thing and actually this kind of ruins that reveal that's eh, that's not too bad actually but you know it's just more of a, as you're coming out the guests just kind of get a big whew, uh more of a reveal rather than you know if you had it if you didn't have that little lip there you'd just be able to see just straight out. So I just kind of have like to have reveals instead of being able to see. I mean, it's not the worst thing to have it like this as you turn the corner, because that's somewhat of a reveal too as you walk around the corner. And it's like, whoa, look at that. But I just kind of like it a little bit more mystery as you kind of come around. And so I kind of do that um, with tree lines as well, trying to get um, just canopies kind of forming over top of the uh, tree line. You kind of have one right here forming as you walk underneath the tree canopy there. But uh, yeah, natural tree canopies are fun. Kind of do the same thing over here, kind of blocking out the path or the staff area. Sight lines, yes, exactly. Sight lines, yep. Isn't going to be swarmed by those Instagrammers. Do we have any natural selection for those yet? Um, I guess falling in the water. You know what? Yeah, we do. Because this place is, you're right. This is right through here is going to be so crowded when we let guests in. Um, because you have the otters on this side and the or the crocodiles on this side. So if the Instagrammers really want to get clever, you can just, I mean, they're totally going to climb in. I did, I made it like, I made it evolutionary proof or whatever you want to say, because they're totally going to climb in. But you know, we did it on purpose, because if you want to do that, then maybe you should get eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> you are, you do, Poison Blade, yeah. I'd say is learning to decorate outside of the enclosure, so you need to get better. Always impressed with what people do to fill space, right? Uh, foliage is, a, is an easy one. Say happy holidays, which is very vague, uh, could apply to any holiday. Right, and that's kind of why we do, at least lately, because there's so many different holidays that people celebrate. So instead of like just narrowing it down to Christmas, which not everyone celebrates, you just say happy holidays. Whether it's Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Festivus, nothing. Just hope you have a good holiday in general. Let's open this up to guests. I say either way, though. I see either way. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. If someone doesn't like it, when I say Merry Christmas, they can just kindly say that they don't prefer that, and then I'll say Happy Holidays. <laughs> Alright, so is this open? Oh, the game's paused. That would be a good reason why no one's coming in the zoo. Have a good one, Warble. 
Then I can take out as many people as you want to. Have you seen Nicholas Lionwriter's uh, mod for it? I'm sure, I don't know if you use mods at all, but um, look at all the staff that just popped out first. That was so weird. All the idle staff were stuck until I opened the zoo and then they all popped out. That was so weird. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, Nicholas Lionwriter, he made a shark mod and it looks really good. So, open to guest rip frame rate. We're good, we're good. This, this is a small zoo with hardly any pieces in it. We're good. No big deal for my computer. We're still at 60 frames per second while doing Spotify, while doing Streamlabs, while doing Planet Zoo. Heather G, you had your baby. Heather G had her baby. Oh, look at this little dude. <laughs> no, wait, do it again. Do what you were just doing, little dude. Yeah! <laughs> I love when it runs like that. That's kind of adorable. Oh, are they like, they love each other. Oh, no, they don't. Never mind. <laughs> they don't love each other. That's the opposite. The opposite there. It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's so fluffy. It is, though. I mean, look at this thing. Come on. Get out. Oh, there's another one. We got two babies. We got two babies. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. Hey, Crocs. What's up, buddy? 10% devil, you hush your mouth now. Now you've gone over the line. <laughs> There's no devil in them. You might be seeing the devil in you, but not the devil in these little fluff balls. Come on there. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at those little dudes. So now we need our... Um, now we need our what? The, um, the Caymans haven't reproduced. There's four of them, which are two more than we're, we should have. Yeah, and there's male, female, male, female. No, I have three males and one female. Is that how it should be? I feel like it should be the other way around. Hold, please. Maybe that's why we're not getting caimans. Maybe that's why we're not getting any dwarf caimans. Because the female's like, oh my god, there's too many caiman dinglings hanging out. Can't even think. One male, one female. Whoopsie. So let me go ahead and take out like, I don't know, two. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to get rid of that male because this one, that one's good. It's a gold star one. Yeah, you, you get out of here, mister. You get out of here. Pictures of babies online in real life and when they start to lose their baby feathers is when they truly look ridiculous. Um, I doubt they do that in Planet Zoo. No, I think they just morph, but that's funny. <laughs> uh, doing good, Crocs, man. Thanks for having, uh, thanks for as asking. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for asking, appreciate that. We are doing good. We're pretty much wrapped up with this zoo. I just have to go through and do some detail work, but this little one-off whatever project of building whatever has been, uh, it's been a good time, but I think we pretty much wrapped it up there. The otter is about to mate. What is it? Brossfest or sh I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. But you guys do it in Germany a little bit, and then Domez went all German. Yes. <laughs> are people going in the PP staircase? Oh, they are. Look at they're starting to go in the PP staircase. A terrapin had offspring. Oh, I forgot about the terrapin. Wait, why are they bringing me here? I forgot about the terrapin being able to have offspring. <laughs> Shoot. We're about to have a tank full of turtles. <laughs> it's about to be a tank full of turtles. Everyone stop it. No. <laughs> no. You. Um, can I do it from here? You. No. And I think we started off with a PP shaped staircase. That's right. That's all it did. It was just a PP shaped staircase. How many guests do we have? About a thousand. All right, they had their offspring. Now these things can have like a million offspring, can't they? Like if we're gonna go down here and there's just gonna be like a billion little turtles in here. Is that what's gonna happen? Uh, how many turtles are there now? Oh, alert. It didn't even have any. Never mind.
with my accent, my terrible German accent, sounded like a Frost Fest, like Frosty Holiday, Frost Fest. <laughs> All right, let's speed up the time here a little bit. Get the I want to get the guests dispersed throughout the zoo. Oh, you know what will help with that? Um, if we put in some like guest facilities. I don't know if we have any food or anything in this zoo. I don't think we have anything actually. We'll put in some uh, vending machines for now, like over here. Some hot Mexican food as they're walking around the zoo. I'm sure that'll go over fantastic. Chief Beef, there you go. Get a nasty hamburger in a vending machine. Ugh. That literally sounds like the worst. See otters playing with bubbles? Do they play with the bubbles? Because we have a bunch of bubbles down here. I like how the duck is upside down. Like, come on, duck. <laughs> Why is it like that? Uh, vending machine burgers? I know that just sounds like throw up. That just sounds like straight gross. There's a bubble machine toy. Oh, a toy? Really? I didn't know that. I was just putting in the, uh... yeah, I like how you don't even have, oh yeah, there is. I like how you don't even have the game and you know about things that, <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Let's put this under uh, underwater then. Now this doesn't, does this malform the terrain? Oh my God, it doesn't, perfect. Be cold and the uh, the sauce would just have soaked into the bun. Oh man, it just tastes like a McDonald's burger, basically. Are they gonna play with it underwater like this though? That's my next question. I feel like they might not. Do not have an underwater feeding thing. I don't think I, I don't have an underwater feeding thing in here. Oh heck, 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 heck. There. Shoot. Do 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 Me. S Dan Green member. Let it through my inner fantasy build. I know, dude. I've been having a good time doing this kind of stuff. Isn't the uh look at the underwater tunnel that we have going here? It was such a pain in the butt to do it, but man, S Dan. You gotta get in on this uh, underwater path. Look, it's an actual path. Like this isn't like just this is an actual usable guest path here. You gotta get on this action, buddy. I can't even imagine what you would do with uh, with this kind of power at your fingertips. Again, it's an annoying ass thing to get going, but once you get it, it's like oh. And you know, we were talking, S. Dan. We might have to, we got to bring this up on the podcast. <clears throat> you remember in Roller Coaster Tycoon Three, how? Um, we had underwater tunnels for the water. This is this is the same engine, right? Cobra engine, Cobra engine on RCT3, Cobra engine on uh, Planet Zoo. So with the new aquatic animals, people are saying, why don't we get the underwater path now for Planet Zoo so we can actually make these things for real? Because the only thing that happens with it where it gets a little funky is that when you go in, see how it's clear right here? It thinks that you go underwater when you're in here. So it kind of goes like that. And the otters can kind of clip through a little bit. Like, well, sometimes you'll see an otter kind of clip through the wall <laughs> a little bit, but you know, it, it is what it is. We're glitching the game essentially. Um, but man, if we could get actual underwater, uh, whatever, that'd be amazing. All right, I want people to go over here. We need to entice people to come down into that area. So we're gonna actually put like, I thought the terrapins would do it enough. But let's try and put um, some more, another guest facility down here. Like something, I don't know, like a, yeah, sure. A milkshake machine. Ugh. Is this just hooked up to the path? Like good to go? <laughs> Vending ma machine pizza is lit though. Ew, there are a bunch of them around here, which makes acceptable pizza for when, when you're drunk. Okay, yes. Um, that still doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> oh i wouldn't trust cheese covered items with tomato sauce out of vending machines yeah that's yeah, it just sounds so bad it just sounds so bad also sdn now that you see my face and we got my face up and everything we gotta get your face up we've all decided by the way 
We've all decided that your face needs to be the next face. So get a face cam. <laughs> the Cayman are expecting offspring. All right, the Cayman can stop now. Look at that. We've got rid of the, the Cayman in there, and now they're like, oh, man, I can totally pork. I'm totally on board with it now. There was just too many dinglings around for the uh, Caymans to properly uh, do anything, basically, is what I, I think happened. All right, there. Since you're expecting offspring, we can stop that now. Um, our guests... Oh, guests are coming over! All right, I want to see if they're going to go in. Like, come on. Go down into the underwater viewing area. Okay, that's cool. You can, no, go down there! Come on, I even have a bench down here for you. Let me put... You want a garbage can? I can put a garbage can down, too. Here, have a garbage can. A big garbage can. Here, garbage can. There, go down there and like enjoy your enjoy your milkshake. Yeah. Yeah, you got no good thoughts. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Do it. Do it. They're gonna do it! They did it! This is the most amazing thing ever! Oh, SDN Wolf donated money too! And his is blue! I'm donating purely for that manly that I have a manly beard. Oh man, my beard has made me five dollars. Can we please get some claps and some GGs and some woo-hoos in chat for SDN Wolf coming in hot with the amazing donation of five dollars for the amazing beard there? That's a beard donation. It's a beard nation. <laughs> Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate the heck out of you. And everyone, everyone, y'all been really, really uh, generous today with uh, the donations and everything. So thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. Awesome community. Beer gang. Beer gang. Is that a challenge? S Dan, challenge. Now until we get our vaccines. No shaving. No shave until vaccines. I get to shave before you. <laughs> Your gang, I like that. Yeah, I just saw the thing this morning with um the uh, the vaccines, like what how they're gonna be divvying them out or the timelines or whatever. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, wait, now there's too many people. Now everyone is coming to get a milkshake. What the hell? But uh, anyways, yeah, I think we're gonna be in group two. It sounded like me and my my wife are in group two. Because she is like most susceptible to possibly getting it and like having really severe detrimental kind of uh, whatever happened. This is bad. This is bad right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we'll be part of group two, or at least she will be, which in case I think I will be as well. I don't know how that works. Like if you're, if it's a household thing, because again, like, yeah, she has a compromised immune system, so she can't get it. So I think that puts us in group two. So she'll definitely get it, but I, I think I'll have to get it too because we're in the household. I don't know how it works, but that's a lot of people going to get milkshakes right now. That's a lot of people going to get milkshakes. Like everyone is going, I donate, isn't this hooked up? Everyone's just like, dude, I gotta go get a milkshake. Are you going to vending machine? Vending machine. What is up with the vending machine being so popular? and <laughs> Not this one. People are just like super duper stoked on the the, uh, the vending machine there. Oh my gosh. What's up, Moonlight? The beard envy grows. Seems like I'm the only one in the Planet Zoo community who can't grow a beard. You just go like this. Ugh. And then whoop, I, I just grew one. I felt it right here. I felt it grow. So that's all you do. Now, one of these are pregnant. I'm kind of holding off to see if one of these are going to give birth here in just a second because that'd be awesome if we could do that see a little baby otter oh yeah there we go expecting out blanca blanca is expecting offspring is that you blanca you are how long do um march of year 60 oh god okay let's speed up time we're gonna do that and i'm gonna head out so <laughs> Your beard won't connect to my stash and it makes me sad. Um, it, it took me a while too, don't worry buddy. It'll it'll happen, it'll happen. And soon you'll be able to do, I'm starting to get back to it, yep, a little bit, where I can start to twist the ends like a Wyatt Earp. I mean, I used to be able to do Wyatt Earp uh, beard like it was nobody's business, I loved it. 
I loved it. I got a, I had beer wax too, or mustache wax and stuff like that, so I get the little curly cues at the end. I'm telling you what, get that full Picos Bill, Wild Bill, you know, Old West look going. Oh, I'd love it. I'd love it. All right, let's put trash cans down. I can put trash cans down. Time. Uh, do, 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 do. Putting a Planko for the first time since the Aquatic pack? Oh, what? Planko got a new pack? Wait, what? What are you saying? Is this like... Are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? They're talking about how great the builder is, how great it is to build roller coasters with the new gamepad. Okay. I could never do that. No, yeah, no, no. No new, no new. No, no. That would be the surprise of the year. If, if Planet Coaster got a new pack that wasn't just a rehash of the old ones going on to, um, Whatever, that would be the surprise. Yeah, uh, Council did. Yeah, Council's getting rehashes of the Adventure Pack and stuff like that, for sure. For sure. <laughs> this is this Black Knot. Oh, hey, the otter's about to have its offspring. Oh, my God. There must have been another one. Because that is not March yet. That's okay. What build are we doing? Hey, Ava, um, Ave, Fox the One. Fox the One, welcome in. We just finished um, our Otter Habitat, which kind of finished up our little one-off Aquatic Pack Zoo overall. This is the little Aquatic Pack Zoo that um, we've built over the last few streams here. Um, and yeah, we just used all the Aquatic Pack animals. So we have the gray seals in here, the king penguins over there. Uh, we have some saltwater crocodiles, uh, caimans over here, and otters and terrapins over here. Um, there is a, on my channel, if you want to see like a more in-depth look at it, uh, cause I'm about to actually stop my stream. I have a few videos out on it. So if you want to look at that, you definitely can there. <clears throat> Gotta head out to all, uh, have a good one there, Linda. We will catch you later. Again, I'll be streaming on, um, Christmas Eve. At, 11, at normal time, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for um, probably the normal amount of time there. And we'll probably be in Thornton Hill Zoo because we're all finished up in this zoo there. So, um, but yeah, so have a good one there, Linda. S. Dan, are you streaming later on? Or I'll, I'll yell it for him. Hey, they had their offspring. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? <gasps> oh, get out of here. I've never seen the baby otter. Get the funk out of here right now with that. It's so small. <laughs> Is it gonna swim right away? Are they just like good to go? Oh, they are just good to go. Look at them in comparison to the, to the big dude. Is that your dad? Is that your baby? That's adorable. Okay, I wanna see it swim a little bit. Let's see if it'll dive. It's all right, man. You can do it. Just, just look at how the other dudes do it, and then, and then dive. Come on, man. You can do it. Nope. We're all done for the day. Time to go. Uh, time to go. Be cute for everyone over here. Yep. Time to go back to mom and be cute. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. That's gonna make for some great little pictures there. So I can't believe how popular 
the cosmic cow milkshake is right now look at this right <laughs> the cosmic cow milkshake is the most popular thing you want to go see crocodiles nah you want to go watch the otters nah you want to go see some gray seals swim around nah they have a cosmic cow milkshake machine oh my god we have to go <laughs> uh, just let everyone kind of filter in. I'm, I'm just having it on high speed right now to kind of filter everyone in to get there <laughs> so they can get their milkshake and get out. I guess the milkshake does bring all the boys to the yard. I guess the milkshake really does bring all the boys to the yard. Let's put another one on the other side of the uh, um, the zoo. Let's see if we can't spread everyone out um, just for now because it's kind of ridiculous how popular that is. As got, and I'm probably going to get rid of these later, but let's just see if I can kind of even out the guests a little bit here. Let's see if we see just like a seismic shift. Look, it's already happening. It's already happening over here. The seismic shift because there's one over on the other side of the zoo. Just watch all the guests. Watch the ants go. <laughs> I bet you see just tons more of them head to the west side of the zoo. That's so funny. <laughs> Draw them away. Yes. Because <laughs> it is warm. Oh, interesting. It's warm, so maybe they want the milkshake to cool down. There you go. Oh, that's actually a good point. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it's like 100 degrees. Oh, it's like 80 degrees all the time Fahrenheit. So that's a good point. Maybe that's what it was. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> there they go. Look at them. There they go. <laughs> They're going to the left side now. Here, enter the Benny Hill music here now. <laughs> oh man they need the ice cream how would you lay out your zoo because i want to carry on my zoo but i don't know how to order it uh look at real world zoos uh i know i give that answer all the time but that's how i lay out my zoos i just kind of see how they do it um and yeah or you know always um you can always do the method of building a habitat out somewhere like you know i kind of had one drawn out out here build a habitat somewhere and then connect the pieces in between to the big habitat um, but yeah, looking at the layouts of real world zoos is always a good one there. So cool, cool, cool. All right, y'all. I think that's it. I think I'm done. I think I done. So my little wrap ups that I'm going to do, I just need to kind of go through and put benches and other little things like that. Obviously the center area is going to be, um, kind of the most done up that I'm not going to do on stream. This whole area will look the most different. Um, got to do something over here as well. Uh, little plantings here and there, nothing big. Yeah, the biggest area that's going to be looking different for y'all on stream that you haven't seen in the final videos is basically this this kind of area right here that I've been avoiding for a long time. Other than that, y'all pretty much saw the whole build process um, through and through there. So cool, cool, cool. <sighs> this was fun. <laughs> Welcome back, horrible. Good timing. Yes, I am finishing up. I am indeed finishing up. So that is the best of timing there, of course. So uh, let's finish it by looking at our um, otters as they swim under the water in our underwater viewing area. There you go. That is a good one to finish on. Right, 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 right. So cool. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out. I always do appreciate it. Again, we're going to be off the next few days. Uh, the next two days we'll be off. Excuse me. Um, we'll be back for Christmas Eve. We'll do a um, normal 11 a.m. Central Standard Time stream there. Uh, we will be off for Christmas, though. So just remember that we'll be off Christmas and then be back again the day after Christmas. For Take Two Podcasts, we're looking to doing some um, more. Oh, wait, let me do the switch over here. We're going to be looking to do some fun Take Two Podcast stuff there. So we're going to be hoping to have Mr. Mike Sheets. Mr. Sheets is going to hopefully come on to the podcast in the next few days if we can get him there. Um, and this coming Saturday, um, depending on how many people, no, it doesn't matter how many people are going to show up. Uh, we're going to be having our giant, our big fun Take Two podcast end of the year shit show extravaganza, which that will be a great time. I'm going to get that set up uh, today or tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. I'm hiccuping because I'm hungry. Yeah, over the next few days, I'll get that all set up. So yeah, fun stuff coming to Take Two podcast. Uh, fun stuff on the channel here and yeah i'm gonna take off so hey if you're not already subscribed to the channel also hit the like button helps about the video helps out the channel so hey have a good one everyone if i don't talk to you before christmas have a good christmas we'll see you next time